my beautiful people i am going to show you this awesome 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 how i achieved this awesome um chair so i am transforming this metallic dining table as you all know when you go to the supermarket there's always this uh, i mean uh, these metallic dining tables they are not that strong but i found them someone was throwing them guys and uh, i went pick them up clean them uh, the, some metallic parts were broken i went to the welding man and fixed them so this is how i started all these guys it, it is so much like the transformation after i made this i went and show the man who was throwing that chair the two actually there were two i showed him how they looked like and he was so impressed until he told me to take another one. then he gave me some uh, work to do so i'll be again showing you something that i made but i made it uh, at his place so I didn't like I never recorded all the step but it is such a beautiful table a buttoned table a grey one I used the leather one so let's get to the video so after I, I placed some cotton box on it as you have seen then um, then I glued the foam using the contact glue and now I am trying to use this box to get the pattern that I want to get like equal distance in between the buttons so uh, this is how I'm doing it and I'm just using my nails to pull some parts so that it will be easier for me to see but you can also use a felt pen marking all those points but because my nails can do that better I'm just using them you can use a felt pen mark a pen something like that to put some dots there so that when you you are cutting at least you know where you are um, what you're doing and you don't mess up so this is how i'm doing mine and i think it's, it looks so i think you can all see what's going on so this is how you make tufts so you make i mean the buttons those are the places you make your tarts but you can also use a cotton box you cut it into sides like any shape you want no any size you want the sizes you want in between those in between those buttons as you can see i am now cutting the fabric off so that it will be easier for me putting uh, pulling the buttons and the fabric as you can see or oh, you can see all through the foam you can after i've cut those parts you can see the spaces in between so that's the cotton box um, just using my scissors to cut them but if you have a drilling gun with something around you you can place it and be pulling you'll be removing those parts of of the form that you don't want so this is how it is done so um, guys hope you're learning you can i mean you can do anything these things aren't so hard to do um i am just cutting all of them so I made this video for you, Clara. You requested um, how to do the tufts. So this is how it is done. On any surface, you can do it. If you have the drilling gun, no, I mean you can, putting the buttons, you can use drilling gun. You can use a thread and a needle as I'm going to use you can also use a staple gun so this is how it is done i cannot okay. use my staple gun because as you remember the seat was 
metallic. So there's nowhere to use this drilling gun of no this table gun of mine. So I have to use the needle, then find a way to secure the ropes on the other side. So this as you all know this thread, those who don't know is that thread that you use in sewing your shoes or something when you go to that fundiwakiatu so these are the buttons that i'm going to use the acrylic buttons you can find it in any shop that they sell them fabrics no the fabrics to make clothes i think you can find them at five shillings each or three shillings it depends where you are but you can find it anywhere the acrylic ones they are of different shapes but i think i love the round ones so you can also yeah you can also get the squared one so i'm just finding where i'm just using my hands to locate where the um, holes are the holes where the buttons are going to be at so i am that's how i'm doing so i'm just gonna show you how to do it so finding it that's the place so i am just doing it that way then i'll be placing the button on the thread using the needle this is how i do it that way then on the other side too backward so you put it yeah that way and start pulling them at the back so at the back you just pull the rope and everything will appear it's just like a normal way of putting a button on a shirt i guess yeah that way then you pull hard enough to make it firm you don't want your seat to appear loose so you just pull it like that and everything is okay i guess so guys as you can see the first needle the first button is there like shanza eh? kutamba we will walk to keep up our needle, then run at the top. So as you can see, everything is fine, going on well. And I'll be cutting that extra fabric, but not now. I think when I'm done pulling, like guys, do not cut your fabric. Like if you're not sure with the size, and I think you all know the tough thing needs a lot of fabric so if you're not sure about this exact size of the fabric i would request you you first place it then you'll cut the fabric you first do the tufting and then you will cut the fabric later so we have the second buttons and everything is going on well as you can see i am placing everything the way it should be and I mean it's it's easy but time consuming so I've been doing this chair for like um, four days but I'm sure it's because I'm doing them at night because of work on such things so I don't have time to do them during the day but everything is going on so well and yeah I think we are good uh, just pull them make sure yeah guys make sure your fabric is firm very firm so I have this video so these are going to be my dining chairs because I have another video to show you how to make a small dining table my friend i have a dining table in my bed sitter and it occupies a very small space like my house is not that big but 
it has a dining table and I still have space so go and watch that video make sure you watch that video and see how the whole thing looks like I am sure you'd learn a lot it doesn't require so much things I think if you wanna get such a dining table I think it would go for maybe 20 k yeah maybe something like I don't know maybe 15 to 20 thousand but I made it all by myself and it was I think less than 3,000 because the mirror was at my workplace no I can't explain that thing just go watch go find that video and watch the video so guys as you can see let me just uh, I'm just adjusting the fabric placing all the buttons then I'll start pulling because I think secure no I'll be securing it at the back with with what with the carton box and glue gun so it's more likely it will be hard for me to be pulling one and doing one so I have already as you can see I have placed all the buttons and this is how it looks at the back so I'm just going to use this um, I'm using this what do you call it glue gun hot glue so to stick everything as you can see at the back is just the carton box because remember the seat was metallic so this is how everything will be appearing so i already done the first one and this is the second one so i'm just pulling everything the, all the buttons are well placed the way i want them i wanted them so that glue is all i need and as you can see i'm just cutting these small pieces of cotton bolts that will help me securing the ropes after I pull the ropes um, it's a little bit of work but it's worth it because it never comes out like uh, it's just like yeah it's just okay I mean yeah, it's okay you can't remember the part so um, I am cutting it into small square pieces like they are then it's not necessary for it to be squared you can cut any shape you want but make sure they are small ones guys small pieces so as you can see i am placing it pulling it and like that so that's something it. it really needs some energy yeah some energy to pull and make sure you hold it until it dries so you pull it you can use a longer a longer rope then you'll cut it after securing it so that's how it is you press it until it dries you press while pulling it so as you can see it has dried and it is very firm very very firm and uh, See guys, I'm going to do that to all these thread, pulling them, putting the glue, applying the glue, holding it, doing it over and over and over and over again. So guys, but it, there are not so many. Uh, on that chair, on my sofa, as you can see, at this other end, uh, I used staple gun to you place the tabs. So you staple gun, you staple first, then use glue to place the buttons. And this other one on the left side with the Chanel stuff, I used, yeah, I made it using the same method that I'm using right now. And it's, it is very effective. I think I've been having that cut small table for uh, it was a table by the way I decided to make it look like that so I I have I think up to now it has been like five months I guess 
yeah five um, five to six months i'm not sure if it was on my first video but five to six months i've been having it for five to six months i guess yeah six months six to seven months and it is in a good condition i think i'm going to sell it but no i don't want to no i don't want to but i will be selling it soon so that i may create something for that so, I mean, when you know how to make things, you're going to make so many things. And you just have to keep on selling them and changing your house. Like, anytime you want. Like, when you find something nice, you make it. Find something nice, you make it. So, yeah. That's how things are. So, soon, guys, we will be doing some cooking. Yeah, I really love cooking some stuff, African dishes, everything. But let's stick on our DIY right now. Um, just so guys, I think you have an idea of how to do all this, how to to make those threads tight and also securing them at the back. Guys, watch all my videos. Um, I think let's run to a uh, hundred subscribers. We are now at fifty, and guys, it's been so long. Like, let's okay, let's, guys, get, let's get to a hundred. Guys, let's get to a hundred. So, but guys, as you can see, I am done pulling everything. Like, done pulling everything on. In this shop, side this I am done pulling chair, everything like and, and I think and everything is just okay so I'm just cutting the extra fab extra thread at the back and uh, as you can see it's not messy anymore so just cutting them after everything has dried and placing this from here to ha to hide everything like that part which was unpleasant so I think have an idea of how to transform any chair especially when you have a wooden one everything is okay everything is easy to do like everything is just the way it, everything is easier when it is wooden but like you can transform everything all that you want in your house like everything is on a budget i think i can't even remember what i only bought my bed because then i had not bought a drilling gun so that's the only thing i bought in my house and uh, things like utensils duvets those things that you can't make anyway yeah but the furnitures, hey, everything, I made them myself. So guys, I'm gluing the foam. There, you can use the contact glue. Or you can use this. I can use a hot glue. So I'm just using my hot glue to place everything. To place that foam the way it should be. So, guys, hope you can see everything clearly because uh, at night, at night, and I am uh, really, really, really struggling with everything. But I think everything is quite visible. Yeah, so I'm just cutting the extra foam that I place at the back and stick it there with a glue. I cannot use nails. I cannot use. Uh, the drilling gun because not the drilling gun the glue the staple gun because it is because I'm just using I mean what do you call it because the seat was metallic remember that the seat at that place at that edge it is metallic so I'm just securing using a glue like as you can see, I'm just using my glue to do everything. 
but it's so heavy by the way so you see it all use so much energy for those who have the staple gun you know you have to eat enough using that thing so look at the back it is good amazing so I'm just attaching I'm also cutting this extra part and make everything look good so again just use I'm just using the glue to make everything okay and that's how things are things are yeah guys watch all my videos watch all my videos subscribe like comment guys uh, let's get to 100 subscribers araka, araka, and like and yeah yeah steps small steps but we are good i think we are good and guys make sure you watch this video to the end because you're going to learn a lot a lot you can transform anything in your house in a cheap way and these things aren't expensive like i get these materials at 380 i guess per meter in gikomba and you can also get on these local shops around you at I think for 400 to 450 it depends with where you are maybe let me say to 500 depending on where you are so let's do this let's do this let's make everything okay guys I mean this is the third day the third or the fourth the third yeah third night or the third day i don't remember the third night i'm not sure if i did this during the day or at night but i'm sure it was the third or the fourth day yeah some yeah i think there so uh, guys you know i have to deliver i have to i have to i have to it's been a while but i think uh, yeah we are okay you know you have to go to work again come work yeah i'm sure you understand what i'm saying but we are okay you are good and uh, guys that's so much things then i'm gonna show you uh, like there's another house like my friend is moving from another town to this town I'm not sure if he's moving or he just wants me to make that place for something. I'll tell you. So I've been buying some things and for him, and uh, I will. When I'm done placing everything, I'll show you the video of that cute bed sitter. When I'm done buying everything and making everything, so guys look at this chair so it's time to place the pins like look at it well done everything is greatly done look at it guys so this is the final part hey, let me show you how to do this it was messy the first time i did on the other chair but figure out it's just easier if you do it separately because the other one he was placing the fabric and the carton box and the pins at the same time but i've realized when you do the fabric and the carton box first everything becomes a little bit easy and faster so i've got the material to size and this is the carton box so i'm a use my glue gun to um, attach the fabric to the carton box as you can see it's easy yeah everything is easy you just have to make the fabric tight and you start with those sides like press a little bit put the glue press a little bit for it to dry and everything is okay okay okay, okay. as you can see i am um, it's 
easy very yeah i think um, while making this share this was the easiest thing and the fastest to do because like you don't have to think so much but yeah you are delivering everything is happening well as you can see look at it it is appearing good it has started to look exactly where it should be and it has come now quickly yeah we are there like uh, yeah uh, there has come now quickly look at it yeah looks beautiful zero mistakes like it looks perfect so again at the edge i'm cutting that excess fabric and uh, gluing it so i am so done with that so at that place i place the glue to, uh, to make it to attach it there like to so that i won't be holding it so much so these are the pins i already placed them it's not so hard but because it was this chair was metallic at that place so i'm just going to play around with the glue and the pins too so you put the pin so it will go through the fabric and the carton box that was on that side make sure it holds so well so i've just put some glue there and then the pin it's not so hard it will go through that carton box there and the carton box that i attach on the sofa so it is easy yeah it is easy. this was an easy second easy part i guess and faster and you at least you use a small energy to 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 press that thing like my sister would have said come on you had no nails you have done all those things faster and easier um, so both ends it here ends. and here so i'm gonna place so guys my phone went off and while well, i was recording That's but great. we are good so we are back and uh, right, I'm just yeah so uh, i'm just putting the um, what do you call it the pins there it's not hard but make sure you secure it with glue because of that metallic part so that the fabric would be firm the pins would be firm enough the fabric as you can see at this side uh, so i am also placing at that plane in there so i noticed that the, these three buttons aren't evenly placed so i was thinking that you can use um, a tape measure or measuring something to to mark places where you want to place the pins like like two centimeters or something so i have placed all the way to that side of the way to the top of one of the sides and i am gonna place on the other side as you can see i've noticed that some of them aren't well placed so uh, i'm just moving them a little bit and then securing them with the glue so make sure you press like it's hard enough for it to stick like it can't after the glue has dried it can't come out so guys there we are we are we are placing everything we are almost done things are looking great and uh, see guys we are there we are there we are there now uh, i love everything how everything has turned out and guys yeah i love it i love it i love it and so there's just the other part just that one part one part the place the sitting place and everything is okay so i am almost done placing the pins i think it's not hard it's the easiest part too so um, uh, we're good we're good
uh, as you can see I think you're in love no one will believe that it is yeah it is the um, no a metallic chair which was so broken like you'll see you'll see it so I had to go to the welding make sure that it's okay and firm but yeah like that man did a good job and uh, everything went well so the other part was the finished part, part was definitely my part because I only I couldn't do the welding part because I don't know how to or I don't have the materials like I did my part load. Let's say that you just get a chair that no, you can get that one, you can get anything. I mean you can transform anything, you can go burn it, make it firm. But I'm saying that if you have one which is in a good shape, you can really perform the magic faster. And guys look at it. Look at it. I mean voila, it's good. Let's continue to this part so i'm just going to i think this is now day four day five i don't know day four day five day three i don't know i don't know i don't know so but look at it this is how it is done so you place it i've placed it cut that part and make sure everything is neatly placed before you tack so I'm just gonna use the glue again to tack because huko chene I cannot staple it. Remember metallic. But guys, I wanted to spray the legs white, but I saw that the black was okay. I mean the paint was okay. Like yeah, it was okay, very very okay. The black paint I think it's the one that comes with the chair from yeah when you first buy the chair it is black i'm sure i think all of them are black like you secure them well like look at it look how i've done it just cut apart make sure you place them it there and fold it on that side put a little bit of glue and everything is okay make sure you pull it pull it so much like no, I don't know why this part isn't sticking. I shit. But we're okay, I think. Yeah. Uh, it keeps on coming out each time. Oh my god, again. But it's just okay. Let me be patient with it. Hold it for some time. And see if everything will be good. Oh, oh my god, again. But. Oh, yeah. Now let me try putting the glue to the chair, then attach it on the place because I think everything is fine, fine, fine. Like, look at it, guys. Look at my chair. I'm done placing everything and it is magnificent. Look at it, guys. I need a joint kit here, metallic, and it was so, so broken. So, guys, watch other videos of mine, guys subscribe like comment it will really help my channel to grow and i'm really satisfied with what i have and guys i love it i love it i love it look at the back it is so neatly done it is so well amazing beautiful everything good i don't know how to describe it anymore but i really love it i'm in love so look at the buttons and everything i mean it is great so i've placed everything the table and the chairs so this is how it has turned out my friend i really love this transformation this. it is so great so mm -hmm. breathtaking okay. though i don't know if i've said the table the right way but i mean everything is okay i mean look at the gold the silver, the black, the white, I mean, everything is, 
like guys okay, I need top beach. I love everything. I just love mm-hmm. how it is. Except like it makes my house pop so everything. much. So the, the table table. and the chair it's but so great. Share. Look at it. Look at them. Bye bye guys. Thank love you. Look pretty. I mean this is just subscribe. Guys, this is mine.